2022 vlogmas did not happen uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for 2023 but on the note of the holiday spirit and all that stuff I actually ended up getting I'll show you guys let's see so uh, I'll turn the camera around this way excuse the messy looking table but I got a sewing machine so this is my Christmas and um, birthday present and my goal is to get back into sewing so back when I was in uh, when I was younger um, in middle school I had a class where I learned how to sew um, so I've sewn a pillow in the past um, I've sewn this big blanket as well and so I've used the sewing machine before and um, throughout my life like I, I sew often like I create wigs I need to stop saying like but I create wigs this is one of my side business businesses maybe 2023 will be, will be the year that I get back into it and make it um, make it thrive I digress so the goal with the sewing machine is to regain the knowledge that I had of it before I've already gone ahead and did a little bit of YouTube research and found this video where um, a girl has a, the same machine as me so I'm gonna relearn and um, I'm still trying to decide what it is that I really want to do with the machine I might use it and um, take my uh, hair business to another level or I might go ahead and create clothes um, in the one of the videos that I posted recently I talked about a gym line of mine I think what would be really cool is if I could actually sew a few pieces so that they're they are unique to me um, and uh, that way I can sew something create something that is not only unique to me but also unique to you unique to whoever is interested in my line i'd probably come up with something super cool because i love the gym um and yeah i'm gonna stop talking now i just finished my day job um for today i do have a job later on in the evening um but with the little time that i have i'm gonna hop onto my computer do my best to stay on track and learn hopefully I can come back to you guys soon maybe today with what I've learned and show you guys how maybe to use the machine or how I'm progressing with my sewing skills so I just wanted to check back in with you guys um, those vlogmas videos will be coming out still and I might even create another video talking about all the hardships that hit me in 2022 like the December basically that caused me not to film vlogmas like you guys won't even freaking believe what the hell happened to me it's kind of crazy but I believe that for everything that I lost and for everything bad that happened to me something good something better something greater is waiting for me around the corner whoever stole my wallet it won't be good for you it will not be anyway i'll save that for the other video see you guys soon <laughs> I learned how to use my baby it's an hour later and yeah I think I got the basics basically I have learned how to reload this I don't know what this is called if you know what this is called let me know what it's called down in the comment section below so I've learned how to reload this with um, with I'm so bad with names with this thread so you plop this baby in here and then you put this here like this I'll just plop this in like this like that and you put the thread the thread as a hole in there sorry you can't see and then um, you go ahead and you loop it through this you loop it through this and then you start to roll it onto here and then you click it so that it clicks onto the side 
and then you use the pedal and it will basically load this. So this is step number one. Step number two, I guess we can start with this. So we start to prepare the thread for the machine basically. So you take it from the original setup, you remove it and then you load it through here. So we don't touch this this time around. We just load it through here, go around like this and then down. And then we go through this hoop um, and then yeah, back up. Basically, we would have it so that the lever is uh, up here, and then we'll take the thread and go through the lever, and then back down through this line, and then through this, there's a hook here, you put it there, and then through the needle, and you pull it through the back. And then it's time to load the little this, basically. So I've already gone ahead and put mine in here. But basically there is a hook in here that you put it through and then you put it through here as well. And then um, you twist this so that you're able to get out the thread and have them both hanging out on the side as such. So it's coming out like that. And then you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So I've already gone ahead and used the machine once. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll turn it on and uh, show you guys what I've learned so far. But this is it on. Beauty. And this is my practice stitch. I went ahead and did a rectangle. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I think you can see that. My only question now is if we're supposed to knot it at the end. Because <clears throat> sewing with my hand and stuff, I always knot it so that it doesn't come loose. I might have to just quickly Google research that. I'll let you guys know, maybe if I remember, or if you're curious, you know, like give me a reminder basically. But I'm gonna go ahead and sew a little bit just so that you guys can see that I actually did learn how to use, not learn or just relearned how to use this. So give me a few moments and I'll show you. I have this piece of cloth. It's basically um, a t-shirt that someone gave me in the past and I don't like the t-shirt. So I'm ripping it apart. This is just gonna be my practice t-shirt. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in on the inside and um, put these together so that on the other side, it looks like, I don't know, a sleeve or something. So go ahead and set this up. Make it nice. We'll start at the very end. Mm, yeah, I want it to be on the end. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Fingers crossed though. So we'll put this down. I think it's called the lever and we're gonna start stitching. So this might not be too perfect because I have the um, foot pedal thing on the side here. Usually it should be on my feet, but I'm just gonna leave this here for now. And we're gonna go ahead and sew, very simple. So you can go ahead and just, um, I don't even know why I'm speaking to you guys as if I'm trying to teach you something, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the needle down so that it's exactly where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna start stitching, sewing. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, that's not what I want it to happen. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, take two, give me a second. So my top threading came loose, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hook it together so that you guys can see the process. Um, I need, oh, it's already connected, so this is easy. So we put it through here. I don't know if you guys have ever sewn before, but this is pretty much the hardest part of this all. I'm sticking it through the eye of the needle. Come on. Oh, I pretty much had it. Alrighty, we got it. And we're gonna pull it in through the bottom. Cool. We should be good to go now. Um, take two. Here we go. Here we go. I haven't tried the reverse 
just yet. I think I did in the past, but let's just focus on one thing first. So I'm doing something wrong, guys. <laughs> let a girl know. Let a girl know. She, I'm struggling right now. All right, let's pull it through. I think that's good. Down. Good. Maybe I'll try the reverse now. So we're gonna push down, I think. No, this is too much. How does the reverse work? Okay, okay. I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm just gonna go forward for now. So we're in and we're gonna sew. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's line this up together. Um, yeah, I should have cut this. Anyway, I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay, I really, I'm really tempted to use this reverse button right now, so I'm just gonna push it down. Let's see. Oh, it works beautifully, but how the heck do I have it so that it stays reversed and I can put my finger on here? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just gonna have to say fuck it and see how this goes. Let me take it out. Up, 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 up. Qua. Remove this and pull this through. Okay, that's it. that doesn't look too good. Okay, it's not too bad. Cool. Um, where's my fancy, my fancy scissors? I found them. All right, now for the reveal. So do you guys see how these loose threads are? Like, I have a feeling that they're probably connected and I don't have to, um, tie them together because when I do pull apart like this it's it's not moving it's not budging so you know what I'm not gonna t I was gonna say I'm gonna take the risk but since this is inside actually you know what I'm just gonna let it be and do my research later but this is the beauty we're gonna go ahead and turn her in turn her inside out I probably should have started the other way around <laughs> Oh well, oh well. As I said, we're learning, we're learning. And this is it, this is the little sleeve. It's connected, we stitch this side. And I think it looks pretty good, pretty, pretty good. So I have this t-shirt that I'm really excited to um, pull apart. Basically, it doesn't really fit my body really well, like it wasn't made for my body. Which makes sense, like a lot of clothes in this world is just made to fit the average-ish body, but it doesn't really fit most of the time the way it should fit. So I'm gonna take it apart, pieces of it apart, realign it, and then um, sew it so that it fits my body. Um, I'm not gonna do it right away, I still need practice because when I do this I don't want it to be rubbish. I need it to be perfect because I want to actually wear the top. Um, but I think the next thing on my list is actually getting a cutting board so that I can line things up and cut it so that it turns out the way I imagine it and I'm not just taking chances with with my clothes, if you get what I mean. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me. Um, I'm really going to try to be more on here so if there is something that you think that would like cause me to continue to make and be um be more active more more engaged and all that stuff with you guys please do not hesitate to suggest it i am all ears and like i love to really talk to you guys i feel like that's probably going to keep me on this platform more um but yeah, I hope your 2023 is starting off on a good note. Mine's actually been pretty good. I have things to share, so maybe I need to start just opening up and sharing with you guys. Like, for example, I just shot um, in a Shein commercial, so you might see your girl um, on Shein's, like, Canada, Shein Canada's 
website. Anyway, I'll stop talking, guys. I gotta go. So I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye!